out, flash out. So guys, a 901 program on the ES1500. As you know, the well-renowned Miami Blue shop car that we've got. We had some crazy, crazy numbers last season and uh, we've just decided to do some more upgrades and development on that package itself. So the car has been upgraded with the uh, interchiller kit for the charge coolers. We're also changing over the turbos for some even bigger ones to see what they do and the fuel system as well. So with the fuel system, we're gonna be going with a single brushless pump that will be controlled um, separately with a separate controller and then that will be then uh, wired in with the Cyvex so we can have that all happy and uh, making some good power. So turbos wise at the minute, we're running G35 uh, 900s. We um, may try some G35 1050s or some precisions. We're gonna actually probably try both of them and see where we go. Um, as some of you may know, we've seen Dave's car out in the US that runs the uh, 1050s and he has some great results with that. Previously seen in TX2K, he ran a 2.3 100 to 200, which was absolutely insane. Crazy numbers. I mean, that's like a 2.7, 60 to 130, you know? So that's kind of in a different territory normally. You wouldn't associate that with a Porsche, but it just shows that this setup can actually hang in there with the, with the big guns. So yeah, we're gonna be trying those turbos out and then maybe the precisions, see what happens with it. And also gonna be looking at doing some suspension changes and getting a drag setup done. We've already got the drag tires there. So we'll be getting some drag wheels over across from the guys at AIM with their drag pack and then uh, trying that out and seeing what we can do in the UK at Santa Pod. Pod is not the easiest of tracks to go fast on compared to other tracks worldwide. It is a little bit uphill. But if we can go um, bottom eights at pod, it just shows that you know the car is more than capable of a seven second pass eventually somewhere in the world. But, um, but yeah, it's gonna be really cool to check them out, try that out and see how far we get with that as well. <laughs> So guys, some of you might be thinking that the S1500 or that sort of level of package is the most extreme we go with the 901 in terms of power and performance. But guess what? It's not. Um, uh, at Emery at ES over in the headquarters actually built a really crazy 991 and he used a drivetrain from this 997. Well, not this specific one, but the same setup as this 997 has got. So it's a fully sequential setup and that car was making some serious, serious crazy power. It did um, a, a really fast half mile as well, which we'll put into the video. So it just goes to show that there's no scope, um, there's no limitations on the scope of how far you can go with these cars. If you want 2000 horsepower, we can get you 2000 horsepower. We're just taking our development in steps on the DFI engines. However, if you wanted this set up in your 991, it's been done and it can be done again.
Right guys, so we're going to move back onto the 992 platform just for a few minutes here. We spoke about the benefits of it, uh, methanol injection and the map switching previously. Well now we're going to talk about exhausts. So exhausts are a very popular option on the 992 just because they are so quiet from factory. It's just like, it's not a, a, a great sound at all. It sounds pretty much like a hoover. So the first modification that's needed on these for sure is exhaust systems. So we wanted to show you our titanium system over here and the benefits of using that over the stock system and over other systems that might not have the features that we offer in our system here. So if we take a look at it down here, first of all, to, uh, the, the design is an X-pipe design. It's a full true three inch system. This is to maximize flow and efficiency as well as power as well. Now, uh, if you look here, these two canisters here, these are drone chambers. And these pipes here that come from the downpipes there, these are, uh, are our drone cancelling pipes. So the, the, the reason for those is that you can get some other exhaust systems that will be louder than a factory one. But when you get in it, it's just not nice to sit in. You know, you're going to be cruising down the motorway and it's, it's very loud inside the car and you don't get um, that sort of comfort in driving. That's why we've designed these on our system. So with these drone chambers and drone pipes, you can cruise as normal. The noise inside the car is minimal. Um, you might have seen some videos of Jamie driving his car. He has this same system on his as well. Um, and the tone from the outside is immense. It sounds like a race car, literally. It's awesome. It, um, the, the actual sound when you're cruising, you can hear lots of turbo whistling. And uh, yeah, when you go full throttle, it really screams all the way up to, to the red line. Ready? Ready. Let's, Let's go. go. Oh, <laughs> With this being titanium, the other benefit of it, obviously, is the, the weight of it as well. So if we get Cass over here for a, for a second, he can demonstrate how easy it is for him to lift that compared to that system. It's a bit of a crude way of showing it, but it's like, uh, we measured this with Jamie. It was like three kilos so or four kilos. Yeah, he can, he can curl that all day long, no problems. Ridiculous. No problems at all. And then when you go to pick this bad boy up. Yeah, you're gonna be able to curl that, Cass. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <looks> exactly, <laughs> <laughs> hey, one second, one second, one second. <laughs> yeah, it's a little bit more difficult, boys. This one, yeah. Oh, but there is a—you can tell the weight difference from. I mean, obviously, the example we showed you ain't gonna be able to feel it. Yeah, but. we're gonna cheat a little bit, and Shaz, you're gonna cut back to Jamie's video where he showed the weights quickly. When we oh, actually had the scale, yeah. Shot, yeah. The scale will probably be a better shot. <laughs> yeah, because oh, the cats aren't on as well. Yeah, actually, the cats probably the, weigh. The yeah. OPFs are yeah, like. See that's, see, that's where that's the weight is. That's where the restrictive list is as well. So, so these so. are actually, these actually have a bit of weight to them. So what we got right here is a scale and a stock exhaust from a 992. I'll turn that on, and we balance this on here. Alright, let's get that. So that's. 22.4, right? Yeah. Okay, cool. So, <laughs> heavy lump that. Now, the other exhaust, all right, so we hit that to zero it, and we put this one on. Seven keys. Oh, seven kg. On the bank dot. There we go, bang on. So if you pass it back to me, just to make sure you guys don't think I'm trying to cheat this, this bad boy is not touching at all. So what we have here, is a 15 kg saving, saving just on an yeah. exhaust. Now a lot of people ask, are, are your exhaust valved? So this system at the, isn't valved. We can offer a, a valve system, but we don't really need to with this system just because on the 992, when you change from normal to sports, sports plus, it changes the turbo position. So pretty similar to the 991s. A lot of people used to think the 991s when they came out of the factory had valved exhaust, they weren't valved the sound change was the turbo actually changing its position. So it's the same uh, with the 992s as well. With this system, when you're cruising in an idle, it's not, it's not too loud at all. So when you want to cruise home in normal mode, it's not um, intrusive for your neighbors or anything like that. When you put it in sport, that's sort of an ASBO mode, where you get pops and bangs and, and whatnot, and Sports Plus is your killer. That's just, just business mode kind of thing. So it will just do what it needs to do. Uh, without any drama whatsoever. 
but yeah, the, I mean, it is possible to have valves, but the, the, that, for that reason, we don't. Just because the extra cost to include them, uh, it's not great value for money, just for the fact that you're going to put valves on there. Um, so yeah, I mean, this is obviously, uh, we also offer this in stainless steel as well. So this is the titanium version. We can do it in stainless steel. But as you can see, the, the design is um, much better for flow compared to the stock one. So you can see how easy it will be for um, the exhaust gases to just flow straight back out of the turbo and out the exhaust. And it's not as restrictive as this big old thing over there. Um, but yeah, look guys, if you want an upgrade for your 992, you want an exhaust, you want to get some noise, and you want to take the, the, get the most of that exhaust system with some power, then get in touch with us, and then um, we'll get you some pricing for this system, or for a stainless steel system, or even if you want to go ES900, we'll get you that as well. But yeah, just get in touch and we'll take it from there.